Good morning. Welcome to Sean the Cigar Guy. So today we're going to be smoking the H. Upman, crafted by A.J. Fernandez. It was founded by August and Herman Upman in 1844. And both of them had actually invented the idea of storing cigars into a cedar box. So that's very unique. Very, very unique. All right, so the cigar we're smoking today, it is a Toro size. It is a 6x50. Its wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sumatra. The binder includes Mexican San Andreas tobacco, and the filler includes Nicaraguan and Dominican tobacco. And most of your Mexican San Andreas tobacco always starts off a little bit, kind of like a creamy, creamy start to it. Then it goes more into like a peppery spice, somewhat sweet on the back end too. So this is definitely going to be a pretty interesting cigar. Definitely looking forward to smoking this. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a cut. I'm going to use my Condor cutter. And this is a German steel blade to it. So very, very strong, smooth cut to this. Which is very, very nice. And for my friends over at Hellacious, so we, I'll be putting a promo code on there. Just do a shout out to my friends, Dean and Jen. So at the very end of the promo code, another cool feature onto this that you also have where it actually catches the cap of the cigar is a bottle opener as well too. So if you're a beer drinker, even better. All right, so it's doing a rubber check. So the cigar definitely has um, a lot of presentation to itself. We got to unwrap. So we got a bottom part here, bottom ribbon. There you go, easily slide that off. We'll see if this is probably easier to actually undo here. I want to be able to get the full aroma of this cigar. Oh wow, this one's very, very strong. Very woody. It's like you're walking into like a, like an old house, I would say. Almost reminds me of like a very old building like something that's been around for at least a hundred and some years like you just walk into somewhere you can almost hear like the wood creek that's the aroma when you walk into places like that let's go off the cigar here okay that has a little bit more of a let's say a mixture of like a sweeter note almost cocoa-y definitely somewhat cocoa-y and almost like a dry fruit to it wow so a cold draw. Same thing. More like, um, I would say a mixture of somewhat sweet, less sweetness, but also I can definitely taste the dry fruit to it. Almost like a dry raisin, somewhere in that realm. Very nice. I can imagine this cigar being a really good wine. I can see wine being a really good pairing. And today we got coffee, some black rifle coffee. All right, and the weather outside today, it's pretty warm out there. It's in mid 70s. So it's going to be a beautiful day for a cigar. And uh, can't wait to go out there and sit outside, relax, and light this one up. really good definitely has you can definitely taste the woody notes I can definitely taste the sweetness I can definitely taste coffee flavor into this cigar which is wild it's got a nice uh, clear identification to it as you once you immediately light it up 
you know, like this far into the cigar itself already. You can identify that, especially onto your upper palate. Another thing to pay attention to, not just back draw, where you actually like that, where you can taste the notes and it reflects onto your tongue. It kind of, you know, kind of electrifies a little bit. And with that, it definitely tastes a lot more. That's a really good. I definitely say there's a lot more sweeter notes onto it initially. That's what the upper palate definitely has. More woody notes than anything. Almost like a mixture, mostly uh, between oak cedar so it's very nice so far all right if anything changes up though we'll do a midpoint and if not we'll just go right to the finalization and get the cigar score so stay tuned all right so cigar review time so this really ends with a little bit of sweet notes and mostly just I would say kind of like woody notes at the end and this the flavor kind of dies down but still a good cigar but not exactly as complex as I thought it was going to be. So overall, to give it a scale 0 to 10, I'll give this one pretty much an 8.5. And that's a review for this. Not bad. Smoke pretty consistent. But nowhere in the 9 range, I would put it at. All right. So if you have any comments about this uh, cigar, if you had it before, let me know. So remember to hit like, subscribe, and feel free to comment. Have a wonderful day.